So a couple days ago, we took a bunch of the grass and stuff that had been growing into this mound away. And so yesterday it was looking like a pretty nice mound. And today I have decided to spread it on all of the areas around the house that grass is having trouble growing. And so, of course, we did a little bit of that on Friday when we took the, the grass that was growing into the mound out. But uh, I just wanted to show you an interesting thing that I've come across. This particular pile has been here for over two years. It used to be huge and of course has been reducing over the course of that time. And uh, you know, a lot of the, a lot of what's in here is just like really, it looks almost like peat moss. It's just really, really um, decomposed and, you know, wet also. So what's interesting to me is that there are places in this mound that are completely dry. This is underneath here. I just think that's really fun. I know it's not going to change the world, but I think it's fun. So I've thrown a lot of the uh, very decomposed mulch out into the area that's fairly close to the mound and of course loading up the wheelbarrow with the last of the mound. <laughs> All the dry stuff. done with this and 
I just want to mention I'm really not that strong. Uh, I heard, or actually I read years ago, that women are far less likely to hurt themselves lifting and um, such than men. And it's not because we're stronger, but it's because we try to um, use better form to compensate for our lack of strength. And so I try and use a basic, uh, well, basically I use the major muscle groups more than anything. And so, of course, core muscles and the big muscles in my legs. And all, the second thing I try to do is keep my elbows close, as close to my body as possible uh, when there's any sort of weight on them. And uh, that's really for the health of my shoulders. If you uh, keep your elbows in tight, then uh, it brings the, the weight closer to your body. It's better for your shoulders and it's actually better for your, your back also. So anyway, no matter how strong you are, try to do things uh, consciously. It was lift consciously. It will help you in the long run. So here are some other tools of the trade I think are better for this point in the mulch spreading. Uh, we'll see which one is the lucky winner. I'm guessing the pitchfork is going to be the happiest thing right now, but we'll see.
this is really fun <laughs> to show you. This looks like an earthworm, but it's actually a snake. Let's see if we can. Uh, doesn't really want to be here. But if you look carefully when you have one of your own, because this one is a little, little squirmy, but its head is, uh, you know, snake-like, and it moves more like a snake. But a lot of people... A lot of people think that it's, whoa! Okay, it's last time. A lot of people think that it's an earthworm from a distance because it goes in the same areas that earthworms do. But it's out there eating little tiny bugs. So anyway, I'll put this back where it can keep on living its life nicely in some nice mulch somewhere. So put that right away. I guess that's all I can do right now here because the dogs have found something of interest. Uh, so we'll take a look at the stuff, the piles of stuff that I just plopped all over the area near the house. So, here's some of the mulch we spread two days ago, and that had the grass in it. And then I, this morning, have gone back and put quite a few little mounds around in areas that the grass, or weeds more accurately, were very brown. So, the next job is to spread all of these around. It should look a lot nicer and it's fairly easy work too so that's always good. This is the easy part. Have a lightweight rake. Very effective. Just spread it out.
Okay, so that didn't take that long. Uh, quickly show you what it looks like. It's not exactly house and garden, uh, but it's, I think, what the um, area will benefit from. And in another month, you probably won't even be able to tell that uh, this mulch was spread. a nice little start to the day. Uh, temperature's finally warming up, so I might be uh, able to do some other things besides, uh, you know, this kind of uh, moderate exercise that uh, I've started the day with. But I'm glad that this pile is now gone. I was tired of looking at it for more than two years, and, you know, the mulch that was there was very old and I think it's going to do a great job helping the grass and weeds uh, in the area closer to the house. So uh, anyway, we're all set in this area for a fresh load of mulch or two, but we never know when we might have that. It's good to be prepared though. <laughs> 